We're packing up camp, getting ready for the uh, river crossing day number one to Doc Campbell's post. That's my camp. Almost all packed up. Just enjoyed some coffee and breakfast as the sun rose and got. Um, I didn't really want to walk in the shade all morning. <laughs> so, yeah. crossing number one done. My feet are wet and chilly. Cold. Can't wait for the. Uh, the sun to hit me. This would be nice. Um, I also have to find a poop spot along this river. <laughs> something far enough away. I can bury it and that's something where it's off trail too. Not someone's not going to just come walking by me. Um, yeah, the rocks around here are pretty sweet. Um, easy to see why people would have dwelled, dwelled in this valley. There's supposed to be some historical cliff dwellings up ahead on a sightseeing side trip if you will I don't we'll see how the timing works out I don't know if I'll go do it but I'm here I, I don't see why not um, unless I'm out of time which I got no time that I got to get to where I don't need to be <laughs> good old Jack Johnson yep. All right, here we go. Okay, here's the uh, second crossing. The crossings are pretty manageable. I don't know if I'll videotape one because if I drop my phone, that would suck. But uh, the river is not too terribly high right now. It got up to about knee level on me. Um, so yeah, you just, you just deal with walking through it. It looks like people crossed. Water feels chillier than last night. I think last night I was pretty warm. Yeah, see, it just gets to it. At least my shoes are getting cleaned out. I have a couple uh, blisters on my heel that I uh, do not want to get too popped today. I'd like to take care of them at Doc Campbell's, or possibly the river's cold, and this will just make them shrink and go. <laughs> Doubtful though, usually it just keeps the skin soft, which makes them prone to tearing. Ow, this stuff, ouch. It's like on cold skin too. Okay, oh, that's gorgeous. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. <laughs> I was probably way off to in there, but oh well. Oh, so good. Don't know if you could hear that, but that's the sound of cow. Cow is off in the distance. Oh, they were making that sound last night too. It was actually like five times worse than that. It sounded like you know, it was giving birth or something. It didn't sound fun. <laughs> but who knows? Um, I haven't really seen many cows in the area. I just hear them all over. Probably have about every five minutes that happens. And uh, yeah, across the river like five times now. It's just gorgeous scenery. A little bit of sand walking, which is challenging after going through water. You just get a little sand on your shoes. And, uh, yeah, they get all muddy. But then you wash them off again. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. Yeah. It's beautiful. Sun's up. The lighting in the morning is so good. Of course, there's a breeze right away. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're coming up on a couple more crossings. Um, you can go right to this one as I cross this one. It looks pretty easy.
tends to be a little shallower where it's a lot wider. Plus rocks give you a little extra grip. I don't like walking in the sit too much. I guess the rocks don't give you extra grip. Sometimes they can be slippery. But yeah. Not too deep. Yep, just got a bunch more of these. Ah, yeah, it's feeling really good. My feet, nice to have some cool feet today. Been burning up the past couple days. Hopefully that will help clear up some of my heel blisters. Um, I think they're also being caused by um, me walking funky from the sore foot. Which, it's still sore in the morning. Usually it clears up about five miles in, which we're getting close to that. But, uh, Good day in the Gila wilderness. Walking up the river here. Um, I didn't want to have to walk through all of that, so um, the trail is right there, I believe. But water's warmer now than it was this morning. I think it's just all the sources are warming up. And uh, yeah. It's not too deep. All right. From a uh, beautiful riverside, about three miles in away from this road you can see more people fishermen swimming there's people out hiking even and now we're on the road it's about another mile over to there doc campbell's post and uh that's where i'm planning on staying the night i'll have a resupply package there and i may make it by four o'clock today I don't know. I might be more inclined to get some ice cream if they're open. But they're supposed to be super hiker friendly. They might help me out with both. Um, yeah, that's very pretty. What a pretty valley. See why they built it here. Some cliffs over that way. Yeah, gorgeous. All right, I'm right, back to the roadwalk. All right, just left Doc Campbell's post. It's, oh, I guess you can't see it. I always start the video far enough away that you can't see what I'm talking about. Um, it was about a three and a half mile road walk this evening. I'm gonna do it, even if it gets a little dark. Let me cross this cow. See, like, ooh, these cattle guards are wide. I always am afraid if I'm gonna drop my phone through them. But, uh, I'm gonna take care of this road walk, try and do it in a bit little over, maybe like an hour and a half. Seems reasonable. I got a lot of food on my back. And uh, yeah, uh, fortunately I don't have to carry too much water. I take care of the road walk while it's still fairly warm out. Uh, better than doing it cold tomorrow morning. My feet, I think, would hurt a lot more if I were to walk in the morning not have them all warmed up and nice right now my right foot doesn't hurt at all so it's all good now um i did laundry took a shower myself and um very tempted to stay there's a lot of hikers there you zigzag cruise control gravity um ladybug i believe was her name very nice woman from uh, quebec 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 i don't know montreal um it would have been easy to stay, but I really had a good night's sleep next to the river, and I am afraid that with how many people were staying there, there was going to be one snore, and that's all it takes for me. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to mess with the light. There we go. Um, skyline's always beautiful around this time.
What a calm evening. Such cool terrain. I hear what's coming up ahead of me is some of the best parts of the Gila wilderness. Um, there's some cliff dwellings, which I think I'm going to bypass. Um, this would always be a cool place to come back to when like on a motorcycle ride or just cruising around the country. So I think I'm gonna plan on just sticking to that as my game plan. It's always, always, always subject to change. <laughs> you never know what two miles of thinking about it will do. But for now, I have the road to myself. I should probably be on more center line, shouldn't I, guys? <laughs> Is that better? All right, good. <laughs> Blind instructor joke. God, that view is just so good. My pack is heavy. I have a lot of food in it. Nobody really knows the miles to Pie Town. I, mean, I should be recording this, but I'm not because it's a long ways and I don't want to run out of battery. Um, but it's anywhere between 120 and 140 miles. I'm thinking it's on the lesser side. When I did my research at home, I was looking at 100 miles, so I have seven days of food in my pack. Um, maybe slightly more than that. <laughs> it's a lot of food, but it's good because I need to eat. I need to be able to eat a lot, free to eat a lot. <laughs> And with what I have now, I can. But I got Looks like there might be some nice lines up there. A few rock climbing routes. Doubt you could bolt into them. I think it might be bad rock or it might be uh, illegal. I don't know. Not a few. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet ridge line at sunset though. So I thought about it, I might take a camp at the intersection tonight and take the high route to Little Bear Canyon, I believe is what it's called. Um, it's supposed to be a really cool place and it will give me a little bit of variety in the area and it will actually take me pretty close if not to the, uh, the dwellings. Maybe spend five, ten minutes <laughs> there. Uh, there's just too much to do on a through hike to see it all. You gotta really just mark the spots to come back to. Like on the AT, it was the Shenandoah. Um, I like to bike pack that, or even just bike it. Um, I think bike packing it would be fun though. Obviously, the Sierras and you know, the PCT and oh, sisters. I think it's the three sisters near Bend. Just cool places. We'll see. But, all right, my view's not changing quickly, so I'll stop this now. Probably be too dark here soon anyways. Oh, where'd it go? There was an owl. It was just at the top of that tree. Damn. Uh, probably spooked it by walking toward it. 
sure it's hard for you guys to see. Maybe in the yellow line there, the moon's so bright it's casting my shadow. Maybe if I could... Nope, that did not help. Nope, that did not help either. Um, so I imagine I won't use my headlamp tonight. Last moments of daylight. I don't know if you would even call it that. Twilight. Twilight.